Welcome to our tutorial about enhancements to the Mounting Boss tool in SolidWorks 2013. To activate the tool, go to Insert on the main menu, scroll to Fastening Feature, and select Mounting Boss. The first action we take is to select a face. Next, we need to specify a direction. If the direction is not selected, the boss will be placed normal to the selected face. I'm going to select the sketch line here. Now we have the axis of the mounting boss parallel to my line. Let's select this edge here. We'll reverse the direction if needed. Lastly, let's select the circular edge. I'll select this edge here. Let's reverse the direction. The next option, we can choose the boss type hardware boss or pin boss. The preview updates accordingly depending on our selection. The hardware boss has a head and a thread, and the pin boss has a pin and a hole. Let's go back to the hardware type boss. Next are a number of parameters, and these options are greatly improved compared to SolidWorks 2012. Here we can specify the boss height and the step height. If we don't need a step, just enter zero, tab to register. Here we can also enter the diameter of the boss, the diameter of the boss step, specify the draft angle, the diameter of the inside hole, the diameter of the counterbore, the depth of the inside counterbore, and the draft angle for the inside hole. Instead of entering the boss height, we can use the Select Mating Face option. The boss height options become grayed out. Here we can use the face on the other boss, or I can use, for example, this face. We have the option to input a clearance value as well. If you don't need clearance, unselect the option by clicking this button. The next section concerns the fins, and here we can specify a number of parameters for the fins. Items A, B, and C represent the length, the width, and the height of the fin. Next, we can enter a draft angle, and we can also specify chamfer parameters. We also have the option to select a vector to specify the orientation of the fin. For example, this vector, or this one. Let's change the boss from multiple fins to one fin. This lets us better understand how the orientation vector works. The equally spaced option becomes active if we have two fins. I'll uncheck this option. Now we can define a vector for the second fin. Reverse the direction by clicking here if needed. And let's restore four fins. At this point, I'll accept. And here is our new mounting boss. OK, let's move to an assembly example. Here I've created a new assembly. I've inserted the part we just created a moment ago. Let's go to Insert on the main menu strip, Component, New Part. I'll select this face. SolidWorks creates a new sketch. Let's click on Convert Entities. I'll select these four edges and click Accept. Now let's activate the Line tool. And let's create a closed profile. Exit the sketch. Let's go to the Features tab now. Activate the Extruded Boss Base command. Let's make a 40 mm extrusion. Accept. Activate the Fillet command. 
A 10 millimeter radius is OK. Now let's activate the shell command. 5 millimeter wall thickness. And let's select these faces and accept. Now let's go to Insert, Fastening Feature, Mounting Boss. First, I select the face. Next, this circular edge. Let's reverse the direction. Boss Type, let's use the Hardware Boss. And let's select the Thread option. Down below, we specify our desired parameters, but I'm going to leave this boss with default settings except for the clearance parameter, as you see right here. And let's accept. Let's exit part editing mode and activate section view. OK, let's increase the depth of the inside hole. Right click, edit feature. Let's make the depth 20 millimeters and accept. Exit part editing mode. Let's take a section view again. OK, now it looks better. This concludes our tutorial about changes to the mounting boss tool in SOLIDWORKS 2013.